strangest creatures and the music they inspire. The ocean is home to many unusual creatures, but few are as strange as the sea pig. These creatures live in some of the darkest depths of the Earth's oceans, 3,000 feet deep. Not a particularly easy place to visit, but today you'll get an up-close look. And I've invited some special friends to help record a song devoted to the sea pig. Direct from San Francisco, the Kronos Quartet. So today we're going to record and perform a piece inspired by the sea pig. They really are just amazing animals. Does it oink? I don't believe it oinks. Even if you pull its tail. <laughs> I don't believe it makes any sounds, but it likes to eat. They like do not, a real pig. Like a real pig, <laughs> yes. The sea pig, or Scotoplanes, is found in the deep ocean bottoms of the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian Ocean, and even off the Antarctic shelf. They have numerous puffy legs and a plump pinkish appearance. To learn more about these mysterious creatures, I headed to the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute to speak with Linda Kunst, a deep sea biologist. The sea pig, the Scotoplanes, get their name uh, sea pig because they look like little pigs crawling on the ocean floor. Is this correct? They do. I don't actually think they look much like pigs no. myself. <laughs> I think they look like cows. But the name sea cows has already been taken. Okay, so that's right. If you study the deep ocean, you're going to come across them often because they live in almost every ocean on our earth. But they have all these legs and what look like antennae and, and they're crawling along the ocean floor. What are they doing down there? They're eating and they're pooping. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. What do they eat? They eat things that are raining down from above, things that we call marine snow, dead and dying bits of organisms up in shallow water that eventually make their way down to the deep sea. When the marine snow makes its way to the seafloor, the sea pig acts almost like a vacuum cleaner. They let all those little bits of food move into their body, absorbing the nutrients they need. And then, well, they poop it out. It smells like a kind of a piggy sort of egg, don't you think? When it came time to write music for the sea pig, I thought about stringed instruments, some violins, maybe a cello, and I was thinking it would be fun to have a song that was kind of a drum and bass groove. Or how about a drum and viola groove? You guys ready? Was this Sea Pig Take One? Sea Pig Take One. I'd like to introduce some different instruments into the mix. I brought you guys some toys that I think will help make some sea pig sounds. If you guys want to each take a surgical glove. <laughs> These surgical gloves might make some sea pig-like sounds. <laughs> oh, I also brought you guys an entire bag of toys to pick from. You can throw anything into the mix. That sounds sea piggy. Just about anything can become a musical instrument. Why not? You don't even have to be classically trained to play it. 
One amazing feature of the sea pig is that they can move water through their skin to actually pump up their legs and allow them to stand higher off the seafloor. But that's not all. They don't have eyes, so they're not really looking around. They don't even have a brain. They have just kind of a nerve net throughout their body, and they are sensing their environment. That's how they are moving around. So what we have in this jar is a dead Scotoplanes. We can see the mouth here and the uh, feeding tentacles, and you can see those all the way around the mouth. Scientists are still trying to figure out what those legs on their head are for. But that's just one of the millions of mysteries about the deep sea that we're trying to answer. So that's all the time we have today for Songs for Unusual Creatures. Thanks so much to the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute and to the Kronos Quartet. And don't forget, you can leave questions and comments below. Bye. Bye.